Now, like me, you are completely and utterly bored of FIFA 19 career mode, and it's only been, what, three months maximum? Today, I am going to be showing you how to make FIFA 19 career mode better. We all know that FIFA 20's career mode needs to be a vast improvement from this year's game, but if you have the right kit, then you can make FIFA 19 career mode itself actually at least semi-decent. Now, first of all, I hear jeering in the crowd, because I'm not going to lie to you, the disclaimer for this video is you have to have a PC. If you don't have a PC at all and you've got a bit of cash to spend, I would def and and you enjoy playing games. I mean, I, I'm just I'm assuming a lot here. If you have a PC and you've considered getting FIFA on PC, go and buy FIFA on PC. It's the only way this year's game is going to be any good. If you're not that bothered and you can wait till FIFA 20, that's calm. But I've refrained from doing any tutorials about it because a lot of other people have done so already. If you want more in-depth tutorials, then look in the description and there'll be links to a guy called Undercover Nerd or UC Nerd. He actually does specific videos talking about the different elements of the cheat engine, okay? Now, if you go on to enjoy the video, slap a like on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new to the channel. It's the big red button under the video and it massively helps me out. Now, the first thing I've got written down is youth academies. We've got scouts out in countries that you can't usually scout in. Mikhail Anson is out in Brunei. Robert Fredrickson is in Kazakhstan. And Sandro Sakira is out in Cape Verde. Now, these are countries that you can't usually scout on on FIFA 19 and with good reason. When was the last time you heard of a good footballer from Brunei? But the cheat engine allows you to be able to scout in any country you want. So you can end up with a youth academy like this. We've got Denzel. Or Jones here. We'll ignore his age for a start. I'll get on to that in a minute. But he's from Guam, which is very much a country. I, I who even knows anything of what? Does anyone even know anything about that country? Luan Lakai is from Kosovo. We've got Yuku Hama from Estonia. Orkid Hakim from Brunei. Arsamazov is from Kazakhstan. Mudada Olonga, brilliant name. He's from Zimbabwe. Adil Budia from Niger. Kunava Bari is from Fiji, Konstantin Vulai is from Albania, Bergenolzo is from the Faroe Islands, and so on and so forth. So before you do any of this, what you're going to want to do is check out the links down in the description below. There'll be a link for downloading the Cheat Engine software and the Cheat Table. You need to install both, and you need to install the latest version of both as well. They're a little bit temperamental when you use them with different versions of each other. Now the Cheat Engine is pretty self-explanatory. You'll click that link, you'll see the download link, you'll download it, all is calm. That's been updated to the most recent version. When you go to the cheat table, it'll take you to a Patreon. Now, what you're gonna have to do here is donate a little bit of dosh to the guy who created this. A guy called Aaron Aptu. To be honest with you, it's two dollars a month. I mean, it's not exactly the most in the world. That's what, like, one pound forty if you're living in the UK. That allows you to basically get the latest version. I think you've got to wait a week longer if you don't want to donate that. And if you want to save as much money as you want, you don't care about having the latest version just yet, then you can obviously just wait a week, that's calm. Anyway, once you've got both of those downloaded, that's the key. Make sure you've got the latest version of both. And again, there'll be a more in-depth tutorial over on UC Nerds channel. You should see something along the lines of this. Basically, this is the cheat engine. The version I'm running is 6.8.2. Now, when you open it up, it won't be connected. What you've got to do is click this little button over here, this computer screen with a magnifying glass on it. And what you want to do is you want to link it up on the process list here with FIFA 19. Now, all of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. We've got the version, we've got the readme, you don't have to read that. I mean, you can if you want. I suppose it's advised. I'll go through all of these in some detail as this video goes on. But the first thing we were going to do was check out the Youth Academy. If we click on the Youth Academy here, you can see that it says activate scripts before you load your career mode save. That is vital. It won't work if you go into your career mode save and then open up the cheat engine. So what you'll do is just back out of the game save. Just save it. Go onto the main menu, the FIFA 19 main menu. Then load up the cheat engine. Click on the Youth Academy part. Click on activate scripts scripts before you load your career mode save and then you can go back onto the career mode save. It's it's not that difficult to be honest. So there's lots of different options here. We talked about sending a scout to any country and I'll get onto that in a moment but you can basically do anything really as far as the youth academy is concerned. You can scout report players that are only 15. You can reveal the overall and potential of the players and as you can see when we go back onto the game Denzel Jones here was not only revealed in his overall but his potential is nailed down to 84. Minimum player age for promotion being 12 and youth player age range 12 to 16. That is usually 15 or 16 on the current game. But you can actually set it so that you can get 12 year olds added to your youth academy. You can also change youth players age to retire to 30 and you can also give them 95 potential as well. So when you go out and do a scout report, all your players that you get back will have a guaranteed potential
potential of 95. You've got 100% chance of five star weak foot, 100% chance of five star skill moves. When it comes to sending a scout to any country, you've got to tick this here for a start, send scout to any country. And then underneath it'll say nationality ID. You've got these codes here, which aren't all that relevant, but then you've got a number here. Now this value basically represents the nationality that you're gonna search for. Right now it is 104. That makes absolutely no sense to all of you and I realize that. But if you check out the third link down in the description below, github.com, Aranaktu, and it's a cheat table sort of list if you like. So if you click on nationalities list, you can see there is literally a list of all of the nationalities on the game. So if you want a player from Albania, all you gotta do is type in one here. Press OK, and then the next time you assign a scout to any country, it'll automatically go to Albania. So as you can see, if I now go into my used staff, we've got Mikkel Hansen here from Denmark. We're gonna set up a scouting network, and you can press literally any nation you like. So I'm just gonna press on England. Three months, okay. And as you can see, he's going to Albania rather than England. So for example, if you wanna send your scout to Latvia, you just have to put in the number 28. If you wanna send your scout to Luxembourg, which you can't usually do, you just put in the number 31. Now, say you've scouted in all these weird and wonderful places, and you got some players who maybe their ethnicity doesn't make sense in comparison to their nation. This is a big issue on the console version of FIFA, mainly because you can't change it. It is an issue on PC and they do have the wrong ethnicity, well, at least you can actually change it with the use of the cheat engine. So if we start off here with Mudada Olonga, he is from Zimbabwe. Clearly doesn't really have the look of someone from that nation. Now, if we go onto the squad hub, you can see we've got this guy here, Mudada Olonga. But let's be honest, his face just isn't matching that. I'm very sorry. He's clearly he's just adopted, maybe. I don't know. To go back onto the cheat table, we're forgetting about the Youth Academy element of things now. And we're going up to FIFA database here. You want to click through all of this. So you click warning, make backup files before you edit anything here, which I think is a good idea, by the way. Database tables, you want to click on that. And you can change anything here. You can change his gender if you want. You can change his retirement status, his preferred foot, his overall and his potential as well. As you can see, you can also change stuff like preferred positions and even his nationality with the code. Again, it's the same codes that were on your other tab when you were assigning Youth Academy Scouts. But the real issue here is that he doesn't look like he should be from Zimbabwe. So what you're going to want to go and do is press on a Appearance, and suddenly there's a whole new perspective of things that you can do. Now really the first thing you want to go and do is on appearance, you want to go down really to his skin tone code. We all know this man should not have the skin tone of pink. He should be a lot darker. He should be black, realistically. Now black is not here as an option, but dark brown is basically the darkest ethnicity you can have. We're going to go for medium brown on this guy and we're going to press OK. Now suddenly we go onto him and he is in fact black. He is the ethnicity that matches his country of origin. Now say you've changed his ethnicity but you want to change his face as well. You want to give him a generic face of another black player on the game. So it's very easy to do this. All you got to do is go on to whatever you want to. You can search for a specific player if you know the head codes off by heart but if you don't really care, you just want him to have a black player's face, you can go on to say the GTN scouting here. We've got Mazayan uh, Maulida I don't know if I pronounced his first name right. We'll just call him Maulida here from OGC Nice. Now let's say we want to give this guy's head code to the other Donny from the Youth Academy. You press Alt Tab, you come onto the cheat engine once again, and you can see that he is now linked. So let's go on to his head type code. You can see that it's 1013. So let's copy that. And we go back onto the squad hub. We get our Zimbabwean hero, Mudada Alonga, and we can then go back onto the cheat engine and copy that value in here instead of 1524. So now you can see his face has slightly changed. That is the in game face of Maulida. On top of that, the man has got the whitest hairstyle I've ever seen in my life. Once again, you want to head over to the cheat engine and go here to hair type code. Double click on that, we can see he's currently got 140. That's hairstyle number 140 in the game. The fourth link down in the description will take you to the list of hairstyle codes that you can get. So as you can see here, it's a Google Drive document and we've got all of them listed here. So I'm feeling to give this guy number 82. That looks a bit more afro-y, maybe a bit more of a high top. So you can see the number that goes along with that is 082. So you jump back on the cheat engine, type in 082 and press enter. So I don't know about you, but this guy looks a lot more Zimbabwean than he did before. There's so many other things you can do as well. You can change the names of players, for example. We're going to use our Zimbabwean tribute once again, and we're going to go over to edit player. You want to unlock this from the catalog. We're going to click on that. We're going to find the Zimbabwean Donny, wherever he is. I've lost him. Where is he? We're going to click on him as if you're going to alter his boots 
or his shirt tuck status, whatever you want to do. We go back onto the cheat table again. And this time, instead of going onto players table and all of that jazz, we're going to close all of this up and we're going to go down to editing player instead. I'm on the player now in career mode and he is therefore linked in the cheat table. So we can change whatever we like here. His current first name is Mudara and his second name is Olonga. But another oh, Zimbabwean surname is Muzimbe. You then obviously want to change that to the same thing on his shirt as well. Otherwise it's going to make absolutely no sense whatsoever. You apply and exit as if you were just exiting usually on the menus. And you can see his name now, his surname is Muzembe. You can also change the negative one overall issue that's been going on on FIFA 19 since the latest patch. We see here it hasn't really affected my game save all that much this time, but Simon Mignele, for example, has gone down by one overall to 78. That's mainly down to his age rather than the glitch. And you can see if we go back onto FIFA database, database tables and player tables, that under player info we can change his overall rating back again. So the fact that it's gone down is negated and he's 79 once more. But well, one other thing that I haven't seen mentioned all that much that I would like to show you in this video is the fact that you can even remove GTN scouting. You can see here that if we go down, if we get rid of FIFA database and editing player that we had open earlier and go down all the way to global transfer network, it says activate scripts before you load your career mode save. So if you're already on your career mode save, save it, back out, go onto the main menu of FIFA 19 and then go here, click that one and reveal player data, scouting players not needed. You can see now that if we jump back into our career mode save, we can go on any player that we like in our scouting section and we know everything there is to know about them. And just so that you know that isn't just me scouting the players who were in the scouted section, we'll go on to some random, random team, every single player we know everything there is to know about them. No need for GTN scouting, it's like old school FIFAs and I know a lot of people have been pining for that back in the game again. So that really is where today's video is going to end on my part. Again, there's a ridiculous amount of things you can do. If you have any queries at all, I will try and answer as many of them as possible. Equally, if you're also a cheat engine nerd, then I mean try and help out other people in the comment section. And if you went on to enjoy that video, slap a like on it and of course subscribe. If you are new to the channel, it's the big red button under the video. A massive thank you again for 100,000 subscribers. I still don't even know what I'm going to do for it yet, but you're absolute heroes to a lot of you for making that happen. You can also follow me on social media these days too. My Twitter and Insta are at the official FNG and links are down below. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye. Is it me? Is it me?